Hello bookworms, welcome to the Weekend Readers Book Club, thank you for joining us. In this episode we are discussing the 2016 released, say, Irish novel that is Solar Bones by Mike McCormack. Now, Solar Bones is literally the story of Marcus Conway. He is the main character and he's standing there in his kitchen and he reminisces a time period of his life going back and forth, focusing on himself, his wife and his two kids and just taking in the moments that have led him to where he is in his kitchen. Now... When I say that, I mean that that literally is the whole story. Marcus Conway standing in his kitchen, reminiscing about life. Now, I'm going to group what I found good and bad with this book all together. Because I feel that way it can do the book a little bit of justice. I did not enjoy this book. I found it very weird read from the get-go after probably the first 20 pages it was weird in the sense that it was literally Marcus reliving his life well rethinking about his life in his kitchen and it became very mundane to me as a reader there was no time sequence in relation to when these flashbacks of him reminiscing about his life took place. It was all over the show. There's no chapters in this book. This book is 250 odd pages and is literally just one complete story from start to finish. So if you can get over the fact that there's no chapters and no typical paragraphing or spacing between stuff. It might be for you, for me, it took it took me out of the story a bit because I was looking for a break and for the story to change up a little bit. But unfortunately, it didn't because, again, it was just Marcus reminiscing about his life. I will say, though, the end twist to the story, because the story has got a twist at the end, and I won't say what it is, but the end twist to the story was like a good, oh, a good nod to the overall story but as but as much as that was there it still didn't do it for me and I struggled throughout this book trying to get to that part where you know the twist comes oh okay excellent you've picked up my interest but by that time I've already spent 200 pages just hearing this guy go on about his life that to a point became very I don't want to say bland, because bland's the wrong word, but just very uninteresting to me, myself, the the reader. Now, for, for this book, as I said, I did not enjoy reading this. This was a struggle, and I would put this struggle up there as if I was rereading Sex and the City again, or The Wizard of Oz. It started off okay, then it just dragged and dragged and dragged, and to the point where not so much I wasn't looking forward to reading it, and coming back to it from where I had left off the day before, it was just more, I want the story to end. But I would like you to understand that that, this, that there is my own personal opinion. And you may have read Solar Bones and completely loved it. Or, in the process of picking up Solar Bones, have read the black v- blurb and decided that, hey, it may be a book for you to read. I'm not knocking it in any way because... You know, reading is subjective. What I like, you may not like. And what somebody else likes, I may not like. So if you are on the fence in relation to picking up Solar Bones by Mike McCormack to give it a read, I would say go for it. Give it a try. You may find that you enjoy it. But unfortunately for myself, I didn't enjoy it. Now, that would have answered the question, as we always have here, is whether or not Solar Bones by Mike McCormack would be going onto my bookshelf. The answer is unfortunately no. I'll put this in the box to be donated, and hopefully somebody who sees this can pick it up, and hopefully the next reader will enjoy this read. So as is a custom here at the Weekend Readers Book Club, as one book closes, 
another book has to open. And it is now time to find out what the weekend readers, the next readers, we can confirm that we're doing a little, I want to say romance next. Romance, heartache, pain, I don't know. We're reading Cecilia Ahern's book, P.S. I Love You. An international bestseller. I know it's been turned into the movie. I know of the movie, not of the book. So I was grateful seeing this on a friend's bookcase and they allowed me to borrow this. So I am interested to see what P.S. I Love You delivers and whether or not it pulls onto my heartstrings. So that there is our episode, our review and discussion of Solar Bones by Mike McCormack. If you're playing along with us at home and you wish to engage us, feel free, you can. We're on Instagram, Weekend Readers Book Club, or on YouTube or Spotify, The Weekend Readers. Until next time, thanks again for joining us, and bookworms, happy reading.